What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we are basically just doing a little bit of a commentary here. I'm not going to be a whole lot of breakdown, uh, but I want to talk about the NBA playoffs, and I want to talk about something that I saw the Oklahoma City Thunder do uh, towards the end of the game, and, and I want to really kind of gather some of your guys' thoughts and kind of think about uh, what this could potentially mean for our Madden game, and I'm going to be doing this throughout the playoffs because uh, I do want to kind of relate the sports because all sports are somewhat similar in the theory aspect and I want to talk about what the Oklahoma City did Oklahoma City Thunder did towards the end of the game there uh, when Kevin Durant hit that three and kind of some of the strategy uh, that we were seeing there so if we're going to pull up the uh, goal line formation and this is kind of uh, kind of advanced thinking here uh, but what we saw the Thunder do was I think they were down I want to say it was six it might have been seven even but um, I know they were down 13 points with like a, a couple minutes left in the fourth. But uh, anyway, with Kevin Durant having an off shooting night, we really saw what Russell Westbrook take control of the game. And um, Russell Westbrook is is obviously a, a great player, but he's often been criticized because he takes control of the game too much. And they think that Kevin Durant should have a little bit more control. Uh, but anyways, guys, I want to talk a little bit about kind of the strategy we saw towards the end of the game and uh, the Thunder executed a quick little three-point shot to Durant and then this is kind of something that I thought that we could consider uh, something Madden related when you're down uh, in a situation where maybe say you're on like the 20-yard line and you need a field goal to tie the game and you need a three-point bucket or not a three-point bucket but a touchdown to win the game and there's about 10 seconds left what is your mindset are you are you what what, what plays are you going to be calling and uh, also guys you have one timeout left um, so that may be a little a little bit of kind of strategy I just want to hear what you guys have to say about it um, and also I wanted to kind of bring to you a quick little uh, quarterback sneak tip and um, Kind of how I've been locking down the quarterback sneak in combination with that. But I did want to kind of have a look, just touch on it a little bit and kind of think about guys over the next couple of days with these playoffs what their mindset is towards the end of the game. As we saw, Oklahoma City was going to give the ball to their best player, let him make a play, and then from there they were going to see what happened. And it turned out Kevin Durant really took over the game in the last couple of minutes and uh, made a very, very difficult three point shot. And then the pressure they applied to the Clippers. Uh, provided opportunity for them to get a quick steal and bucket. And then we saw, of course, the uh, very famous foul by Chris Paul on Russell Westbrook. Uh, whether that's a foul or not, it really doesn't matter. It's all, you know, it's all based upon the theory that Oklahoma City really should have even been in position to win anyways. And so how do you do that in Madden? How do you get your team uh, in situations to win when you really shouldn't win uh, at the end of the game? And, and kind of use that scenario I gave earlier uh, where you have the ball on your 20 on the other team's 20-yard line. You're driving. You have one timeout. You have about 10 seconds left. Uh, what kind of plays are you calling? Are you trying to score a touchdown? Are you just kind of trying to melt for three and go to overtime? Just kind of curious to see what you guys have to say about that. Anyway, uh, quarterback sneak defense, guys, what I like to do, is of course you're going to run commit. Um, but what I really like to do is I like to kind of pinch the line and then I'm going to take this safety and he's in a deep blue zone, but I like to use the auto uh, turbo, so the R2 button. And it really doesn't do too bad in terms of getting in there and kind of blowing him up. And that time he kind of pushed forward. But but uh, and, and another thing you could do at a 4-3 odd is really you could shift your line to the right. Um, there's all sorts of stuff we could get into here, all different strategies. But one thing that I really like to do uh, is show blitz. And then when I run commit, I'll take like this safety that I'm not going to use her. I'll take him, I'll blitz him straight down. And then I'll take this safety here, put him over the center, hold R2. And you see he kind of jumps in, jumps in there and kind of gets in the way. Um, this is not 100% bulletproof uh, method for stopping onside, or excuse me, stopping quarterback sneaks. Uh, but it is something that I seem to have a little bit of success with uh, over the course of my uh, Madden career here. As you see there, you get uh, your guys in position. And the cool part about run commit, uh, well, maybe not cool part, just a feature, is it automatically blitzes all of your linebackers straight down. And uh, this could be beneficial uh, to get kind of that tackle animation on prior uh, kind of for the bread. So anyways, guys, uh, not necessarily wanted to talk about the sneak defense. I mainly wanted to talk about the NBA playoffs. Uh, but what do you think and uh, what is your advice uh, for situations like that? 
as we look through here. And also, real quick, uh, a quick tip from Ryan Dykes. You guys go over and check his channel, Ryan Dykes. I saw uh, something he was talking about. But basically, when you snap for quarterback sneak and you hold down L2 square, he gets a very nice diving animation. I know you guys, uh, uh, I know you guys really like uh, that kind of tip. So be sure to follow Ryan on Twitter and subscribe to his YouTube channel for more content like that. Ryan Dykes puts out great content, and uh, we've been friends for a while. So hope you guys enjoy that tip from him, and also the little quarterback sneak kind of theory uh, using that deep blue zone, bringing down. Obviously, the four three under isn't the only formation this can be applied to. This can be applied to others. But the main key to this video, I really wanted to talk about the basketball game and kind of see what you guys thought about how can we apply it to Madden and kind of stuff moving forward. Because I do want to talk a little bit more about how other sports do still apply uh, to Madden and how we can take different uh, concepts and theories from them. So thanks for your time today, guys. I hope this play was beneficial. Uh, if it was, uh, please leave a like rating below. And also, if you're new to the channel, you might consider checking out some of my other content and maybe even becoming a member. Uh, becoming a member is free. It just means that you are subscribed and you'll be notified whenever I upload content. So thank you so much for your time today, guys. If you have any feedback for me, please leave that in the comments. Uh, let me know what areas I can get better at and let me know what areas uh, I'm doing a good job. And thank you guys so much for your time and uh, we'll see you guys later.